okay, well, if you don't have to have a prescription, then nobody will come for their annual screening. This is a multifactorial uh, <laughs> problem for me to use as a reason that people shouldn't be on hormonal birth control. First, we have to address, okay, let's pretend that that is accurate, that you won't come and get a pelvic exam or pap smear or a breast exam or whatever it is that you need if you don't have to get a prescription for your contraception. All right, let's pretend that's true. If that is the case, is it ethical then to withhold something from someone purely because withholding it might mean they come and get something else that they need. I don't know an excellent way to make a comparison for this of what would be similar, but I would argue, and I'm open to input, that holding people's contraceptive pills hostage because they need routine screening is not really an ethical stance that I would agree with. I just can't think of any other situation where we do that. Yeah, anyway, let's look at this data real quick. We've talked about it likely not being ethical to withhold somebody's birth control pill just because you think it might increase the chances that they come to have uh, additional screening like pap smears or breast exams. Now let's talk about the fact that that's not even necessarily the case. So this study comes out of a journal called Contraception, which is also a reliable journal, study design, relatively small, but decent enough in that you should have reasonable belief that the results are at least broadly applicable to the population which it was studied in. So this is comparing people who got their birth control pills from a U.S. family planning clinic, which means they had to go in for a visit and have a prescription, versus over-the-counter pharmacies in Mexico. Okay, so commonly people who live in the U.S. and have ability to cross the border, they can cross the border and get contraceptives there without a prescription because of the chart we looked at earlier, it's over-the-counter in a lot of places. Then they're going to self-report whether they've had a pap smear in the past three years or a pelvic exam or breast exam or screening for STI. And there's some problems with that as well because oftentimes people will self-report having had a smear and what they've actually had is just an exam for something else. But regardless. Results suggest that most women would obtain reproductive health preventative screening if oral contraceptives were available over the counter and highlights the need to improve access to preventative screening for all low-income women. Okay, so it's not just the study. There are many studies on this, but basically what we have, you know, now decided is, okay, great. Not only would it be unethical to withhold contraceptive because of that, it also doesn't help. People don't have a higher chance of having been screened or a lower chance based on whether or not they were given a prescription for a contraception. So this is one of the reasons that historically I have always said I really support the places um, like NewRx and various prescription birth control access apps and websites because I think that it should be over the counter because it's safe based on the data that we have with a self-screening checklist. And I think that those places where you can easily get access without having to physically make an appointment and go into a doctor's office helps to avoid these delays in getting your prescription renewed and helps to avoid lapses in your prescription because you couldn't get into the doctor to get it refilled or you forgot to go to the pharmacy or the pharmacy didn't have the prescription or they were out of the one that you had been prescribed or whatever, these apps all make it so that you are much more able to avoid those problems. So in the absence of being able to completely get the pill over the counter, I do think those are good options as well. Okay, so we talked about the reason it is important to have hormonal contraceptives accessible over the counter. We talked about the risks of the hormonal contraceptive and the fact that we know people are able to fairly accurately self-screen to see if they are a good candidate to use hormonal contraception. We talked about the fact that not only would it be unethical to not make that over the counter for the purposes of withholding a prescription because it might increase the chances of somebody getting a pap smear or other screening, but that we don't really see that play out in the data when we look at how often people get screened and things like that. 